Hey everybody, I am home from work. I was supposed to go to my son's, um, my grandson's uh, game, but it looks like it's gonna get rained out. We've got some storms rolling in. But I wanted to, th to do this video about standing your ground. And it's so important that sometimes when you're dealing with people and the comments they make, number one, do not take it personal. And Chris at Peak taught me this, get a Q-tip. I got a Q-tip and it's actually sitting down in my packing area and it's um, stuck to, the, to my memo pad. And it's just quit taking it personal, Q-tip. And you can't take it personal, but you can take it logically. So I had a guy from California hit me up with a very low ball offer on a pair of FootJoy um, brand new in box um, shoes. I had them listed for 48, I think. And he offered me, I forget, it was like 30. And he put in the comment section because of shipping. Now I'm gonna be honest. I probably would have sold him those shoes had he not put in that comment because that comment kind of got me and I was like, mm -mm, let me see what's going on here. So my original shipping on these shoes was $12.95. So what I did is because he made the offer, I had his um, zip code. So I weighed these and did a comparison as to what I was charging and what it would have actually cost me to ship those shoes to him, which was um, $18.95 and I was charging $12.95. And so what I did was I responded back with a very high ball offer. I think I only, only took like 50 cents off and I was like $48 and I left the shipping alone. And then I wrote back, um, in comparison, shipping to you is going to cost me $18.95 while I'm only charging you $12.95. Therefore, I kind of feel that my offer is fair. And I left it at that. And I thought, he's not gonna contact me. He's not buying these. I get it, I do, I get it. I'm sorry that you live in California and it costs so much. But an hour later, he purchased them for $48 and $12.95. And yes, it did cost me $8.75 to ship them to him. But the whole purpose of this video is standing your ground sometimes when you get those low ball offers, you don't have to accept them. And something that I do occasionally, but my daughter and son do it all the time, is they will write back with the MSRP of the item. You know, whatever it would be, the MSRP of these Fit Joys are, you know, $99. And I'm offering brand new inbox for 48. I think that's a good deal, don't you? And it works a lot of the time. So if you respond back and you don't take it personal and you do it logically and you do it like a business, you know? I think he must have respected me and he bought them and I shipped them out. These are not the ones. I um, I made a video earlier last night, but I had been working outside all day and I was a mess and I even joked in the video, like you're not gonna see me in this video. So all you see is my hand, you know? <laughs> so I thought I would do it again and I would do it so you could see my face and see the other pair of FootJoy brand new inbox shoes that I still have for sale. But I'm happy I sold them. I'm happy I made a good deal. I'm happy that he got a great deal. He really did. Um, so other than that, stand your ground. You know, if you feel that something's worth more than what somebody's offering you, stand your ground. If you want to clean out your closet, take the offer. And then whatever happens, happens, right? Be happy with your decisions. Don't feel that you have to take that offer. Somebody will buy your item. If it's marked right, if it is something that people want, they're going to buy it. I promise. Trust me. You guys have a great night. Your girl, Soho, saying good night. I am going to go take pictures and list a few things, and then I'm going to bed. i got to work again in the morning. Bye.